Hello, today we're going to have a look at the Autodesk Construction Cloud and how we can set up a project. When we first log, in, log into the ACC, we'll get a list of projects we have access to. And because I'm an account admin, I can create a project from this position as well. I'm going to go across to account administration to change the screen to get into the account admin area. Again, in here, we get the option to create a project. Once we've selected this button, we can then fill out information for our project. Some of these options we are listed with an asterisk are mandatory. So let's give this a project name. Although project number isn't mandatory, we'll put a project number in here. We can always come back to this area and any others that don't have an asterisk if need be. Now, if we're an administrator for a number of accounts, you get the choice of choosing which account you want to actually store this on. And this determines which hub we're going to be using for that project. The project type, we have to choose this, but this also allows us to give more insight to the type of projects we're working on. As you can see, this is pretty comprehensive. So let's go down to our medical office. In here, we can also select a template. Now this really does save a lot, a lot of time. There's a lot of settings already predefined in our pro project template. Choosing a template means we can actually have preset folder structure and naming standards. Let's add a, an address in here. Now we can actually add addresses manually or we can choose one from a list. We also get the option to change the time zone. It will give a start date and an end date. These can be moved if need by, needed. And lastly, we can give a project value if needed and we just choose the, in this case, GB pounds. Once we pick the create project button, the project is ready for us to then add members. As you can see from the member section, I've already been added as a member. I can then select my role within that particular project. You can actually select multiple roles if needed. As you can see, I can also change my access level here. Just because I'm the account admin doesn't mean I need to be a project admin in this particular project. In this case, I will leave that. Next, I need to assign specific products. So as you can see, these are actually products that we already have access to, and I'm just turning these on for that particular project. Next, I'll need to add more team members. So if I choose the Add Members button, I can choose to add these one at a time, or I can actually add these members as multiples. So in this case, when I start typing Maria, because I've used Maria before on the on the previous projects, her name comes up in the list. And the same thing for Otto. Once I've added their names in, I can either assign a, a company or a role. Generally, these are gonna be assigned from the account admin side of things. In this case, I'm only gonna give these members project member status and not project admin. They will already have access to docs, but I can then turn on other areas. In this case, design collaboration. Adding these members can take a minute or two and we can refresh this if needed. Now we can see the other project members already in here. Now we can see that Otto already has a role, but Maria doesn't. So we can actually choose that role for this particular project and we'll choose engineer the same as Otto. 
And we can also see which areas are turned on for these people. So from the members list, we can actually choose a member and see what areas are turned on for them. So in this case, Maria has design collaboration available. If we need to change anything about the project, we can always go into the settings area where we can use the edit button to change this. And we can also then change other product settings depending on what's turned on for that project. Now let's have a look at the docs area. Because we've used a template in this, in this project, we've already got project files and folders set up. So this video was setting up a project from scratch using the Autodesk Construction Cloud.